Hello everyone and welcome back to Dog Sled Saga and we are here at the kennels and all of our puppies are home. I am so glad that we have Max and Stryker back. It's amazing how empty the place felt without two of our dogs. And speaking of dogs, it is only another seven days before we are able to train our little puppy Moo Moo who is on her way to our home. And she is actually slated to be a wheel dog so we have to do some serious thinking about if we are going to be keeping her for our kennel or if we may be giving her a new home which would be really hard but maybe even though her natural specialty would be a will dog position we could train her to be a good middle dog just like her wonderful mother striker so many decisions to make and i really really hate having to like pick between my dogs but the fact of the matter is you guys gotta remember the dogs become kind of expensive as time goes on however we did just finally get into league five so i think our next goal should really be gathering up a ton of money being able to hire a another caretaker to help us take care of all of our awesome puppies and then i was thinking, you know, I'm always, I'm always worried about what's going to happen with our puppies and if we're going to be able to actually keep all of them and take care of all of them. But what if we went ahead and expanded the kennel a few more times? So I think we'll see how big we can expand the kennel before we really start having to go, can we keep a dog? Do we have to get rid of a dog? Because that's really hard to do. But we are a professional sled dog team. So just keep in mind, uh, even if you don't see the puppy in the lineup, maybe they're actually just playing out in the yard and they aren't one of our working dogs. But that being said the only way we're gonna get there is oh look at max he's so happy because we gave him pets the only way we are going to continue on with our sled dog team antics is of course if we start winning the races and getting a lot of the money so that's what i'm really after is the funds to be able to take care of all of our dogs so let's go ahead and i'm going to take care of everybody who was out in the races with us so Max is going to rest for a little bit. Harmony is still resting. She really got quite worn out. Let's give everybody pets really quickly. And then we want to be careful because the skill level is dropping on a few of our dogs. But let's see. I think Harmony, she just needs one more day of rest and then she will feel better. Whoops. Sorry about that, Sierra. And I do want to try getting some new dog breeds. I think it would be fun, even if we just had to rotate dogs every now and then, to try getting perhaps a German Shepherd. Ooh, or what about a Black Lab? Light Eater. Victory is their favorite thing. Or look at that little Shipu Hunter. Or Oreo. Oh my gosh. I mean, there's so many dogs to pick from. Coda, a Chocolate Lab. Oh, there's, there's other dogs that we could possibly pick from, too. Other dog breeds. And I think it would be fun maybe to grab a dog and, like, breed them with one of our top our top dogs and then maybe like release that dog i don't know we're gonna have to figure it out it isn't quite like sims 3 where we can just keep breeding our dogs non-stop and have tons of puppies and play with all of them it is a business but oh, it's just so tempting to be able to play with everybody. I'm gonna grab Yuki. Yuki is one of the dogs I'm kind of going back and forward on. I do love the fact that we imagine her as Stryker's sister. That's really awesome. And I do love the fact that she's a specialty wheel dog where she's natural at the wheel. Um, but I'm just not sure. I'm just really not sure because I need more middle dogs than anything else. And Harmony, I think we made Harmony. Yeah, we made her a specialty middle dog and she is able in the middle. So I think we'll just ignore the fact that she's natural at the wheel and just keep her in the middle because she's doing a pretty good thing. Oh, and it's been 69 days since her favorite thing. Oh, that's terrible. We need to get her her favorite thing. Yes. All right. So it is a race day. Uh, let me go ahead. And speaking of favorite things, let me snag Harmony then. And yeah, Harmony is in the mix and Stryker has been out recently. So let's grab Sierra because Sierra hasn't been out for a little while. And maybe I should put Yuki. Maybe I should put her at the wheel right now. How, how tough is this race? I don't remember how tough the race is. Hmm. Maybe, because I would like to breed Max and Harmony together, actually. <laughs> Even though they're both wheel dogs, I would actually like to try breeding them together because she loves fame and he is our most famous dog. And I think even if we don't keep their puppy, it'd be fun to see what it was. So let's go ahead and put Yuki in here. We're going to let her be the wheel dog and we're going to see how she does. And she's going to be pretty exhausted, so I'm going to have to keep a really good eye on her. I'm going to move them. Okay, this is actually, maybe this isn't the best team. <laughs> oh, that would be really hard. So hang on. I think I'm going to swap out Yuki and keep Max. And we're going to do that this time around. Max, you come over here. Domino up here. Because Harmony is kind of a newer dog herself, too. Because look, she's got moderate exhaustion. So let's do this. Enough thinking about the details of it. Let's just race our dogs, earn tons of money, and see where we end up. All right, keeping an eye on Domino. He seems like he's the first one who's actually getting a little bit 
a little bit tired. Possibly gonna need, no! Oh my gosh, Max. You are just, Max, you just cracked me up. All right. Oh, 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 come on, yes, all right. And now Harmony has had her favorite thing, which is actually uh, fame, so that's a good thing for her. Let's see if I can get the dog some treats. Harmony just had her fault kick in for an unknown reason. All right, yes, and we managed to get a little bit of fame by throwing the treat for Domino, just as he had to jump over. Okay, there's Harmony and Sierra. Okay, getting the girls some of their perfectly timed treats. Let's try to get that to Domino. Oh, thank goodness, Domino managed to get a treat. Okay, we're still in fifth. Come on, guys, we can do this. All right, and feed the girls. Darn, fed her a little too early. Harmony. There's no need for you to go ahead and end up. There we go, the boys are taken care of. Yeah, there's no need for Harmony to go ahead and get tangled. She seems like she's a little bit prone to being tangled, but I can't remember what her fault is. But yeah, I need to stop worrying so much about who to breed, and I'm mostly because the comments are amazing, uh, amazingly um, agitated sometimes. You guys have some very, very strong opinions about which dogs should be allowed to breed with who. Oh, we were so close. Good job, Sierra. At least a lot of the dogs managed to have their favorite thing today. So I think that's why I get so nervous because a lot of you guys have very, very strong opinions on who should breed with who and get very upset when we have to let some dogs go. But hopefully you can see why that happens sometimes. All right, so Harmony managed to get a little bit of fame. <gasps> Sierra, middle special D3, good girl, Sierra. Wonderful, and she had her favorite thing, and Domino, I think, is the only one who did not have his favorite thing. But his fame went up to level eight, yay, Domino! So he didn't have his favorite thing because it wasn't snowing, but otherwise, that's okay. And everyone only had one fatigue. Good, so they'll be able to take care of themselves. <gasps> two more days, you guys, two more days, and then we'll be able to see what little Moo is gonna get up to. Level four food bag. <gasps> Wait, it's gonna, yeah! I would, I would happily add that, add that puppy. How do I remove, okay, remove this. All right, level four food bag with only one slot needed. You guys, that's so awesome. Of course I'll take that. That, now I have two free slots for the first time to be able to maybe do something different. Cool. All right, our next one is going to be a short race on a clear night with a lot of obstacles. Uh, so that might be really good to train some of my dogs in actually. So I think we may swap out Max and put in Yuki. I do, I'm just gonna go with my gut. I need to be strong, I need to be Siri, I know what I like, I know what I love, and I think I wanna see what Max and Harmony's baby would look like. And Domino and Sierra, I would love to see one of their puppies too. So we'll have some fun with it, you guys. In fact, we might breed Domino next because, <gasps> because Domino is the only lead dog right now, so it may help to have a second lead dog. Oh wait, Domino's the only lead dog right now. Who would be the lead? <gasps> I'd have to really look into that. All right, okay, uh, which trait uh, to condition this week? Can I try natural aptitude again? Instead, and so favorite thing is perfect catch. Can I try natural aptitude and maybe try to make her a middle dog? Let's see if I can condition that. No, it just reinforces it. I'm sorry, guys. I was gonna see if maybe re like training them again would change what she was, but it didn't. It just continued to make her a natural wheel dog. Booey. All right, well, I need to start pulling in the money, actually. <laughs> oh no, I am really, really not doing very well on the money. So I think we may actually pull in the majority of the team on this race. Um, I think we're going to need to be my main team. So let's keep... Um, <clears throat> hmm, I think I'll keep Harmony, but otherwise I need, you know what, no, I'm gonna have my main team, Sierra, Striker, Max, and Domino go out, because I need to win this in order to earn, in order to earn a little bit of money. We need some, some good money. And this is a short race, so it's gonna be a little more intense, and I need to make sure that the puppies are well taken care of. Man, I love these dogs. It really makes me miss our Sims 3 series, actually. <laughs> I know that may not make a lot of sense, but it makes me wanna like see the dogs get trained and be happy and take care. In our Sims 3 101 Dalmatian series, we run a animal rescue too. So we'll go back to that one day soon. Very excited about that. All right, watching you guys. Come on, Striker, yes. Okay, and there's for you. Okay, there's a good jump. And a couple of treats for you guys. Come on, ah, oh, why do I always, always miss with Domino? I'm sorry, Domino. 
All right, still doing good though. They're a very good loyal team. All right, good, I missed on Max, but that's actually a good thing. Come on, come on, oh, Sierra, I was really hoping she would manage to catch that. All right, there we go, Domino. Domino got that. They're doing the little thing, the mouth thing, where they'll try to lunge for the treat if they can. All right, there's that, and that. Domino's gonna need that treat soon. Sierra's gonna need it soon. All right, so she had her favorite thing. We're getting there. I'm keeping an eye on you guys. Come on, Striker. Come on, we need money so we can expand the kennels. Come on, puppies, come on. Oh, I knew I could rely on them. Look at them go, you guys. All right, they did a great job. And that's $3,000, which we really desperately needed. All right, so let's see. How'd everything go? Did anybody, anybody, <gasps> yay! Sierra leveled up in her fatigue capacity. I think she's almost to like max fatigue capacity too. So we've got some ridiculously well-trained puppies. I do think I want to breed, you know what? I do want to breed Sierra and Domino. I think that would be really fun. We can't breed them just yet because we have, we have to focus on some of our races, but I would like to do that at some point in the near future. All right, so let's go ahead, let everybody rest. There's a $4,000 race coming up. I need to win that. That'll pay our fees. I actually really need to win that. So this this needs to happen. Um, I might have to take out the main team again. Uh, it's so hard. I need to hurry and I need to get uh, somebody, if I can win this race and win the next race, I can hire somebody to help me with the dogs again. That would be a big help actually, because I really want to breed Domino. Domino, do you have any... Oh, but we have to be careful. Domino's like favorite thing is snow, but that's actually really hard because it doesn't snow every race. And if we, oh, <gasps> Moomoo has grown up. She's a full-fledged member of the team and we can give her a harness. Oh, I'm gonna give her a little bit. Um, I'm gonna give her kind of like a blue harness, I think, a light blue. Yeah, light blue harness because she just is adorable. And she's a member of the team now, you guys. Oh my gosh, my my cost just went through the roof. <laughs> I desperately need to make more money. <laughs> I don't know, should we keep Moo you guys? She loves perfectly timed catches. She is a natural as a, uh, a wheel dog. Um, and she has bottomless pit fault. Um, I don't know. I mean, I would like to keep her, but at the same time, I don't know if we need another wheel dog hmm but she is our first puppy we've ever bred so but at the same time she also costs a lot of money <laughs> to take care of oh decisions okay I'm not gonna think about it just yet because it's not gonna hurt to have her in in this area for now um, let's give Max a pet too. Zip forward. Give Max another pet. The only reason I'm giving Max primarily pets is that that's his favorite thing. The other dogs prefer being out and racing in order to have their favorite things. All right, so let's go ahead and line up the racing dogs. Um, this is a race I definitely have to win, but I think it'll help me out. I will swap Striker out with Harmony? Or has strong personality. I think that actually with a strong personality, I think that means we may end up with Moo Moo not being very good at all. I think she's only going to be, is she going to be decent? I can't remember if she's going to be decent. What does your mother have as a personality, Moo Moo? I can't remember. I can't remember if the strong personality means she's going to be very good in the middle. I think that that means that she's actually going to struggle in the middle like Yuki does. Hmm. I've got to think about that. All right, Harmony, I'm going to bring you on onto the team, my dear. And look at how exhausting this could become for some of these dogs. This is going to be really hard on Harmony. So I'm a little nervous about this, but I need to make this happen. Oh, it's the jerk again. All right, well, we'll race the jerk. This is the part where we just need to start earning tons of money. And as that happens, there we go. Oh, dang it, Domino. Why do I always end up missing with you? Sierra's gonna need her treat soon too. Wonderful, she had her favorite thing. Oh, Harmony, you're already exhausted. All right, I'll keep an eye out on Harmony. Gotta be careful, because Max doesn't need treats quite as often. Harmony's already, oh, Harmony's needing like double the treats that the other dogs do right now. All right, hang in there, Sierra. I'll get to ya. 
And Max doesn't need his treats quite as quickly. Harmony, get this, get this, get this before the tree does. Good job. All right, who's needing a treat next? But yeah, you guys, we're gonna have to see. We're not gonna be able to keep all of the dogs. I don't know if we'll keep Moo Moo. Because I don't know if her personality means that she's not going to be good at all as a middle dog. And I really need more middle dogs or a lead dog. I wonder if Moo would be a good lead dog. All right, catch that. And then who next? Come on, Sierra, come on. You can do it. And I think I want to focus on trying to get up to League 7 too. Because I've heard from some of you that if you can get that far up the leagues, then it actually really helps you out with being able to afford taking care of so many dogs because you start earning tons of money at the really high level races. So I'll definitely look into that too. And there you go, Striker or Sierra, there you go. Sorry, I called you Striker. <laughs> they have the same body shape. All right, let's see. And let's go ahead, Harmony, here you go. Oh, this is a tough one. Domino, Max. Okay, let's toss another one up to Sierra. There we go. And I really do want to see more puppies. I think that's kind of what it comes down to, too. Hey, but if we pay the breeder's fee, then we actually don't need to worry about having the uh, the registration fee for the dogs. I totally forgot about that. That might end up saving us, ironically, trying to breed up for more puppies. Oh, we're racing neck and neck. Almost, almost neck and neck with our rival. Gotta just a little bit more, guys. Come on. Come on, puppies. We can do this. We're gonna race against our rival. Oh, he's right there. Come on, Harmony. So proud of you. <gasps> yes! All right! And I think Harmony should be happy because that is some fame. Yes! Okay! And if we beat our rival enough, we can hire him. He can become somebody who works for us. All right, Max just hit fame level nine. Oh my gosh, fame level two on Harmony. I thought Harmony loved... I guess she didn't get fame herself. She did get fame herself. Harmony, I thought fame is what you loved. We'll have to look into that. Sierra had her perfect catch. I guess maybe fame at the end of a race only doesn't count for Harmony's favorite thing. Did I beat him enough to be able to hire him now? I beat that jerk in a race again yesterday. The crowd loves our rivalry, so my team got more famous. All right, so we're going to have to see about that. And I just need a little bit more money. <laughs> And I may be able to clear the bills. All right, you guys. So we got an increase in skill, but I don't know. Should we keep Moo Moo? I really love that she is the very first dog that we've bred. And she, but she just looks like such a cuddly puppy. One that we could just kind of like roll around and play with. Her favorite thing is perfectly timed catches. Her fault is bottomless pit. And her specialty is going to be a wheel dog. And her personality is strong. So I'm not sure if we should keep her or if we should perhaps try breeding up for new dogs. Or if we should just go ahead and adopt a new dog. I, there's a lot of hate for Yuki too, which I don't get. But oh well, I'm just going to do my best and have a great time and we are going to enjoy seeing what goes on in our kennel and hopefully be able to continue expanding our kennel and working towards having a team that I believe would be strong enough to apply for the next league. I think the more we continue to climb up the leagues then the better and better the races are going to get and the more and more money we'll be able to afford. Oh my gosh and being able to qualify for the next league. Guys that's going to be $20,000. Who has that kind of money? I don't have that kind of money. Do you have that kind of money? Okay, we're gonna have to look into that. I have no idea how I'm gonna be able to afford that. But we're just gonna race, we're gonna train, we're gonna stick our nose to the ground, and I don't know, maybe I should swap Yuki out and Mumu out. I feel like, honestly, I feel like Yuki and Mumu might be better off elsewhere. And we might be much better trying to hire some new dogs that look a little bit different, like Vixen, an obedient, perfect catch, tangle free yellow lab. Hey now, that might be pretty interesting. Or a obedient German Shepherd named Chloe, Oscar Wilde, the Shifu, Light Eater, Fame, Obedient. So we have a lot of obedient dogs who would offer themselves up to uh, possibly being really great racers for us. And then a lot of steady dogs who just very, mel very well may end up being good uh, middle dogs for us. So we'll have to see, you guys. We will have to see. I'm, I'm really thinking it may help us out to kind of shake up our, our team a little bit and add in some new dog breeds. All right. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.